Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, She Plans, She Budgets. In today's video, we'll be going over my first paycheck results for the month of April. So let's get started. All right, so starting with my income as per usual, I did get an actual of $2,195.86. So that was a positive difference of $35.86. Now that this is the third paycheck in a row where my income or my net pay has been exactly the same, I'm going to bump up my um, expected number just a bit. I'm very happy that it's finally balancing out, but you know, as I've mentioned pre in previous videos, it was fluctuating um, with my state taxes for whatever reason. But now that this is the third paycheck in a, in a row, maybe I don't have to worry about that anymore knock on wood <laughs> so um this is all that i received for my first pay period so i'm going to write that down as the total two thousand one hundred ninety five dollars and eighty six cents all right so um for this first paycheck i did go ahead and pay my phone bill that was due april or that is due april 7th um, for a total of one twenty seventy six, so that is all taken care of. And I'm going to just bring out my Erin Condren monthly bill tracker because this is what I use to keep track of all of my bills, just so I don't forget to pay anything. Um, and since I paid my phone bill already, I'm going to go ahead and check that off. And then everything else will remain unchecked. Um, I'm not going to check off my cash envelopes today because I'm doing two stuffings for the month of um, April since this is a magic month for me. So cash envelopes will not be checked off until after the second stuffing. And same thing with um, sinking funds. Once I stuff that, that will be in a separate video. And same thing with my personal and debt savings. I will check those off after the last installment for the month of April. All right, so that is everything that we need to check off for right now. Oh, and by the way, this is linked down below if I didn't say that already. <laughs> okay, so now moving on to my variable expenses. Um, for gasoline, I will be stuffing today $90. Groceries and household will be getting $350. Laundry, I'm still up in the air about reducing that number, but for right now, I still want to keep it at 35. I'm thinking about reducing it because I didn't use it at all for the month of March. And then um, in a separate video, I will be stuffing my sinking funds for the total amount of $605. Personal spending, I did give myself $250 that I keep in the bank. I don't use cash for personal spending. And last but not least, I did mention in my um, Paycheck One budget video that I would have to figure something out because um, the original amount was short by $60.76. And with getting the extra money in my paycheck, which was $35.86, that will still leave me short by $24.90. So to make up for that shortage, I did decide to just stuff, or not stuff, but to transfer my debt savings with whatever I had left. So subtracting the $24.90 from what I wanted to transfer, which is $770, I will only be able to transfer $745.10. So that's what I'll do. And then I know I will have a little more freedom in paychecks two and three. And the reason I know that is because since I do my budget for my monthly as well as the paychecks, I know based off just my monthly view, it tells me that I should be in the positive by the end of the month once I get all of my, all three paychecks, pay all of my bills and expenses that I will be in a positive by the end of the month. So that just tells me that paycheck one was just too heavy for what I was expecting. Um, so I can add in the extra 
$24.90 to make up this number in my next paycheck. So that's what I'll do. I'll probably just round it to 25, but you know, <laughs> um, yes, I'll just do that in paycheck two to make up for the 770. Because again, my goal is if I pay 770 to like transfer that to my savings, every paycheck between April and September, I will be able to save $10,000 by the end of September. So let me go ahead and um, add this column up for variable. I have 90 plus 350 plus 35 plus 605 plus 250 plus 745 in 10 cents equals $2,075 and 10 cents. All right, so putting um, all these numbers down in the paycheck breakdown budget section, total income was $2,195.86. Total fixed expenses was $120.76. Total um, variable expenses was $2,075.10. And unbudgeted remained at zero, thank God. <laughs> Because I did not have any wiggle room to get crazy. <laughs> so that number should give me a zero base balance. But let's verify. 2195.86 minus 120.76 minus 20.75 and 10 cents equals zero. So instead of ending with a negative, I managed to bring that negative into a positive zero. <laughs> because I'm not in the red anymore. So what I did was I just lowered my debt savings goal and I plan on making it up in paycheck two because based on my monthly budget, um, and that video is linked down below in case you didn't see it yet, based on my monthly budget for looking at the entire month for all paychecks, all bills and expenses, I should be able to afford everything that I have planned out and budgeted for and what happened in paycheck one it was just it was just too much going on in paycheck one so instead of moving something onto paycheck two i'm gonna just do what i can do with paycheck one and then you know since it basically came out to a difference of 24 dollars 90 cents we'll just call it 25 i will make up that 25 dollar difference in paycheck two by adding an extra debt savings transfer so not just $770, but plus an additional $25 to make up for this number. All right. Um, yeah. So now I'm just going to get my cash so we can do this cash stuffing. And I keep it in the back of my planner in my um, Happy Planner cash envelopes, the big ones. These did come in a set of two from the Happy Planner website. And that website is linked down below if anyone is interested. So I'm just going to take out my money. And let me go back to paycheck. And I have my cash envelopes right here. These cash envelopes are from Mojo Cuts on Etsy. And I will have her shop link down below. Put that here. All right. So paycheck one is taking care of the cash envelopes. Here is my little cash bank slip. And this is from Oh My Pies. I have envelopes from her as well. They are for my sinking funds and you'll see that in my next video. But Oh My Pies is linked down below as well. And I have all the cash right here. Some of these bills are kind of ugly. <laughs> But I guess I have to just take what I can get. So anyway, um, like I mentioned in this video, I'll be just stuffing my cash envelopes. And this money came out of the ATM. So I'm just working with 50s, 20s, and 5s this time around. Okay, so starting with gas, I want to put $90 in here. So for that, I'm just going to take some 20s, so 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 
85 and 90. Okay, so I have 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90. All right, so gas is fully stuffed. Okay, next is groceries, and groceries I like to put in $350, and that's because I also account for households. So here's the envelope, and for that I like to use all 50s. So 50, 1, 150, 2, 250, 3. 350. So that is 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, 300, 350. All there. And boy, oh boy, I need some groceries. I need paper towels. I just need any and everything. <laughs> All right. And then last but not least is laundry. And I will be stuffing 20, no, $35, so I'm going to take 20, 25, 30, and 35. So 20, 25, 30, $35. Okay. And this is my last um, cash envelope for today. Fully stuffed. And then again, I will be stuffing my sinking funds in a separate video. So this should be 605 remaining. And we can just make sure that that is true. So 51, 152, 253, 354, 5.95, um, 695, <laughs> 600, 605. Alrighty. So I'm just going to put that back in this envelope because this will be used for my next video. So please stay tuned for that. And that is everything for this video. So thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.